Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll introduce you to one of the best free resources for learning data science and machine learning, Kaggle Courses. Whether you are a beginner starting out in data science or a seasoned professional looking to refine your skills, Kaggle Courses provide bite-sized interactive lessons to help you learn efficiently. If you have ever wondered, how do I start learning data science for free? Are Kaggle courses worth it? Or which Kaggle courses should I take first? Then this video is for you. Kaggle courses are free, interactive, self-paced lessons designed to help you learn and apply data science concepts quickly. What makes them great? Short and practical. Each course has 5 to 10 minute lessons with real world applications. Then hands-on coding. No need to install anything. You can practice in Kaggle notebooks directly. You can also earn a certificate of completion to showcase on LinkedIn. And the best part is, it's completely free. There is no hidden charge or no premium plan. So whether you're into machine learning, data visualization, deep learning or SQL, there's a Kaggle course for you. Now let me show you how to find and start a Kaggle course step by step. First you need to go to kaggle.com and you need to click on learn from over from this menu. And then once you reach this page, then you can see that there are some courses over here. So you can uh, like search the courses or you can also browse the courses from here. Like we have in the courses, we have like intro to programming, intro to SQL, advanced SQL, intro to deep learning, computer vision, time series. Then you can like check the list. And here we also have some guides. What are guides? These are curated collection of high quality learning resources authored by Kegel community. So then you can like uh, click on a course and here you will see all the lessons like this course has around six lessons. The first lesson is getting started with SQL and BigQuery. Here you can see the tutorial and this has also an exercise then you have the select from where group by having in count order by as and with and the joining data so if you want to start a course you need to just click on begin the course and this shows that you in uh, you need to devote three hours to complete this course then you can just click on begin course then see in the, the first lesson is getting started with SQL and BigQuery and then like uh, it is learn the workflow for handling big data sets with BigQuery and SQL. You can read the introduction. This is the tutorial. They have also provided you the steps. Then after you have gone through the tutorial, what you can do is then uh, you can start the exercise. So this is the exercise for the course getting started with SQL and BigQuery over here you can perform the exercise see so this notebook is an exercise in the sql course you can refer the tutorial at this link so they have just given the introduction then they have imported the big query also from here starts the exercise so first question is count tables in the data set you need to click uh, write the code over here and they have also and if you want to check your answer then you need to run this and if you want a hint or solution then you have to run this cell then there is the second question and like there are many questions and after you have finished the exercise then you will move on to the next lesson now let us talk about some best Kaggle courses for beginners so if you are new to data science or Kaggle you should start with these foundational courses the python course covers basic syntax functions loops and libraries like numpy and it is perfect for absolute beginners the pandas course uh, you can learn data manipulation and analysis using the pandas library and it is essential for cleaning data sets and preparing data for machine learning models the next course is introduction to machine learning it teaches basic ml concepts like regression and decision trees you can build your first ML model using scikit-learn that you will learn in this course. Next, uh, the next course is data visualization that covers matplotlib and seaborn for creating charts and graphs. It is great for exploratory data analysis. The, la 
The last course is SQL for data science. With this, you can learn how to query databases and analyze structured data. It is useful for data analysts and machine learning engineers. One pro tip, complete the Python and Pandas course before jumping into machine learning course. Here are some pro tips to make the most out of Kaggle courses. You should follow the recommended learning path that is you should start with Python, then Pandas, and then machine learning. You should complete the exercises as hands-on coding is the best way to learn. You can use Kaggle datasets to build small projects and you can apply what you have learned. You should ask questions and discussions as the Kaggle community is super helpful. And finally, you should share your notebooks. You can showcase your learning and get feedback. One pro tip, after finishing a course, try a small Kaggle competition to apply your skills. Now let us see, are Kaggle courses enough to get a job? Kaggle courses are a great starting point, but they are not enough on their own. Here's how to go further. You can build real projects using Kaggle datasets. You should participate in Kaggle competitions to test your skills. You can also learn additional concepts from books and other online courses. And you can, should network with professionals and showcase your work on LinkedIn. Kaggle courses are one of the best free ways to learn data science, machine learning, and deep learning. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced professional, they provide a structured, hands-on way to level up your skills. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more tutorials and share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.